the rebirth of Venus, or the making of an artro in the age of generative AI. Once you are ready to display your art, you become struck by the word show in art show. Abraham Lincoln. Meaning that even with the help of artificial intelligence, you'll have your work cut out for you. Art is a deeply personal thing, so I can't speak in general terms. That would be a terrible idea. I will thus describe the birth of my new art show. A show about forgotten goddesses upon which modern religions have been built. At the time of this writing, it just so happens that I am exactly 31 days away from worldwide worship of a West Germanic spring goddess named Aster. She was celebrated with a month of feasts. Today, she is celebrated as Easter. In fact, there are thousands of goddesses that have been suppressed by the modern and organized religions. Recently, one of the top world leaders said, and I paraphrase, if the world was ran by women, there would be no war. And I would like to add that we look at old customs through the eyes of modern religion and worship and what we know of sacrifice. But times were different back then. Everything was different. And I personally tend to believe that goddesses were at least originally more down to earth. They were about women who led, who took care of their communities, who were loved by their people. Perhaps it was not a question of worship, but inspirations and reminders to grow all the way up to become just as great as they were. What we end up with today is the 5,000-year-old Egyptian tradition of eating the flesh of gods. A symbolic act that, unlike growing up, requires no effort. We see that same pattern of low effort preference in behaviors today, choosing fantasy, over the massive challenges of life that actually lead towards greatness and growing all the way up. In my art show, I hope to bring back the goddesses that in my mind challenge us to grow all the way up. I still consider it to be beautiful and colorful fantasy. And there just can't be a better art style to capture the mystery than lowbrow pop surrealism. Ouch. Furthermore, rather than just repeating what little we know of these goddesses, I hope to expand their stories and related ideas worth keeping around. The language model AI I am using right now created a list of just over 100 goddesses. And although I intend to upload the artwork to all my little stores and make it available as large 40-inch canvas, which if I purchase would then create a traditional art show, my mind is set on something more portable, more accessible, and neatly smelling. A book. Just imagine a nice, hefty book with shiny and captivating illustrations 
and three paragraph long descriptions or poems of each of the forgotten goddesses. I share this early idea with you because I want to encourage you to do something similar. You can do goddesses along with me. Goodness knows they could use more light. But you can also grab a list of famous magicians or mythical warriors and present them as kittens or perhaps a whole group of woodland creatures all dressed up in amazing outfits, proper uniforms, or suits of armor even. AI-powered generative art and language model AI will take care of the artwork and most of the text, thus making all the work cut out for you, where all you have to do is pick the most beautiful pieces and stitch them all together.